So um, I'm Saskia Beiner, I'm from Germany and I'm uh, 23 years old. I've been playing sports for 15 years now. Um, through my mom, she used to be a hobby player um, when she was younger and then, um, yeah, she, she wanted me to try out some different sports. So I played badminton and also did some dancing and gymnastics and um, then she brought me to the squash court and then there was a squash trainer that saw me and asked me if I want to join the training sessions and that's how I got into it and then I, I stick to it. <laughs> it has so many different sides, like um, you have to practice so many different things to be successful in squash um, and that's what I really enjoy to do, like different training sessions in different, different locations also. What is squash like in Germany now? So my feeling is that we have um, more more good players than we used to have in the past few years but what is missing at the moment is like the the real top players i mean we still have rafi who is obviously a top player but like for women um i i wish we have for like for the future i wish that we could have a top player inside the top 20 top 10 so i'm obviously working on that but um yeah we'll see and then um about the others about the other Things squash in Germany. Um, I think there are players missing. Actually, we need some more juniors to come up and to train very well. And the, the junior work is missing a little bit. I feel like everybody is doing a lot about it, but um, I think that's something that happens in, in other sports as well. That just like juniors do not enjoy playing different kind of sports, and they they enjoy other things that they used to do like 10 or 20 years ago. And I think that's that's kind of the problem to make them get into the sport easier probably to to make them see and realize more that uh, there is training that they can do I feel like Paderborn is doing a really good job in Germany about that so juniors can can join for free until the age of 12 or something and so in junior training once or twice a week um, and it's kind of easy for the parents as well to make them do that um, so I think we should do that more in different places uh, not so many, no. I feel like we have a good um, national team, so the top four are actually good. Um, I'm, I'm happy about that and also to see that three of us are really young and really working on themselves to, to improve. So I feel like the future can be, can be bright for us. Um, but apart from that, um, they're definitely like the number is missing, yeah. Well, for me to have women as a training partner, obviously, because <laughs> that's very important to train with women also, not only with men. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I mean, squash is for, for men and women, like for both equal. And I feel like the women's game has improved a lot in the past years. Um, and it's, it's a really, like a really challenging draw in every tournament. Um, and myself, I really enjoy watching women squash as well, because it's so different to the, to the men's squash though. So, um, yeah, that's why I think women should definitely get into squash more. Well, definitely Nicole David. Um, I feel like she has. Yeah, she has made the biggest change in, in women's squash. Um, she made women's squash so athletic and so physical. Um, so this has definitely been an inspiration. I'm really happy about that because I start loving the physical aspect about the women's squash. Um, and then uh, if you ask me at the moment, well, of course, definitely the top players. I mean, of course, there are some players that I enjoy watching more and some players that I probably do not watch that much. Um, but uh, in the end, I feel like all of the top players, women top players on tour are great athletes and I enjoy watching them. I'm really, really lucky to be in the um, military tra in the military in, in Germany. Um, so they, they kind of support, support the athletes in every different sport. Um, so since, since that I can, I can train professionally and I can do like really, I can really focus on squash. So um, yeah, I get up in the morning, I do my first session um, I have breakfast, I go, go into the club and like have my first squash session or gym session, whatever. Um, and then I go back home, I um, study at the same time, like on a really slow, slow speed. But um, I try to do my studies at the same time because as an athlete, you never know how long you can do this. Um, so yeah, then I do my studies and then I go back to training in the evening, do my, my second or third session of the day. Um, and then I definitely fall asleep. <laughs> Um, so I think I started the tour in 2021, um, but that was like right into the COVID pandemic. Um, and we had some small tournaments like satellite tournaments and 3K tournaments in Hamburg, which really helped me to get into it. Um, because I feel like you also need to, to be like 
motivated and to believe in yourself that you can do the travel in all this. So starting in Hamburg, starting in my own country really helped me to get into the tour. Um, and then actually like being seriously on tour, trying to, to get up in rankings and everything. I only do that since, yeah, since 2021, January 2021, since I'm in the military training and I can, I also have time for that and do not have a full-time job at the same time. Um, so at the moment, it's like a, like a support only for athletes. So um, I had to do a military training in January last year, which is like the, the basic education that you get. Um, and then I'm always in contact with them. Um, they would control my training plans and everything just to see if I'm, if I'm working well. Um, and apart from that, they really make me focus on my squash, which is a very, very good thing. Um, and they would, they would always say that squash is like my, my main job. Um, and yeah, and after that, they would um, probably offer me a job. Uh, in the military training so after my career if I didn't know what to do I probably do not want to get into my old job or if I don't want to um, to do what I studied they would offer me a job and um, yeah would be happy to have me there like in the military training in another another kind of um, of exercise so yeah it's a very good opportunity as an athlete but also afterwards.